Good news to you all. Welcome to the Good News Daily for Kids. I'm Priscilla Good News. I'm with Troy there as always. I honor my father, His Excellency, and I said to you, but Angel, thank you so much, Prophet, for this amazing opportunity. We love you. Oh, yes, we love you, Prophet. We are on an adventure, right? Yeah. We are sailing, right? Yeah. We are captains. Oh, yes. We are having so much fun. Yeah. Ahoy, Captain. Oh, yes. Ahoy, Captain. Let's see what the Good News Daily says today. Our Good News Daily today says, Faith in an action. It says faith in an action, right? Yeah. Oh, yes. Our Bible reading comes from James 2 verse 17. It is the same with faith. If faith does nothing, then that faith is dead because it is alone. <gasps> mm -hmm. At this point, we do not doubt that faith works. But faith with no action is dead, right? Yeah, faith with no action is dead. Yes, it's dead. Let me break it down. Jesus told the blind man, go and wash in the pool of Siloam. So the man went to the pool, he washed and came back. And by his faith, he was able to see, right? Wow. Yes, he had to act on it, right? Yeah, he had to go and wash. Yes, he had to act on what he was told. And that was faith that made him see. After you read all the scriptures in the Bible and read all the books that have been written, it's still not enough. Faith without action is dead. Faith without action is dead, children. Go and show the world how to be doers of the word by showing your faith in action. So it's faith in action. Somebody say faith in action. Wow, that's awesome. You'll be surprised how many people will come to Christ because of your testimonies. That's absolutely amazing, right? Yeah, faith in action. Yes, faith in action. Well, it's time for a prophetic declaration. And let's wait for Bao. Bao is here. Hello, I'm Bao. Hello, Bao. What did you learn today? That we have to have faith in action. Yes, we have to have faith, hey, and we have to act on it. Wow, that's absolutely amazing. Our prophetic declaration is, By faith, I am moving in the right direction. Through my actions, I will bring more souls in Christ. Because I was born to be a soul winner. You were born to be a soul winner, right? Yeah, I'm a soul winner. Absolutely. Our further study comes from James 2, verse 18. That's it for today. We're not out of good news, right? No, we're just out of time. We're just out of time. Until next time, we say ta-ta. Good news to you kids and welcome back to this week's story time. My name is Titsi and I'm here to read you guys this week's Bible story. But before going any further, I would like to honour our prophet, His Excellency Ambassador Angel, the CIC and the founder of Spirit Embassy. Thank you so much sir for this opportunity. So this week's Bible story, we're going to be reading it from the book of Joshua chapter 6. The title is The Walls of Jericho. So let's begin reading so we can find out what happened. The walls of Jericho were securely shut up because of the Israelites. No one went out and no one came in. And within the walls, the people were terrified. Then God told Joshua, I have delivered Jericho into your hands. March around the city once with all the armed men. Do this for six days. Have seven priests carry trumpets in front of the ark. On the seventh day, march around the city seven times with the priests blowing the trumpets. When you hear them sound a long blast on the trumpets, have all the people give a loud shout. Then the walls of the city will collapse and Jericho will be yours. For six days, 
the Israelites marched around the city just as God had told them. And on the seventh day, they marched around Jericho seven times. On the last time, when the priest sounded the trumpet blast, Joshua commanded the people, Now shout, for the Lord has given you the city. When the trumpet sounded, the people raised a mighty cry and the city walls trembled and collapsed before them. The soldiers charged into the city. Only Rahab and her family were spared. For the city and everything in it was burned except for the silver, the gold, the bronze and iron. And the story of how the Lord had helped Joshua take Jericho spread throughout the land. So that ends that story for this week. But isn't it great to see how God was always with the Israelites? Even though they faced a hard obstacle, which was the wall of Jericho, they remained faithful and trusted in God and obeyed his word. And as a result, God helped them bring down the wall of Jericho. So kids, let us remember to remain faithful and trust in God in every situation. No matter what obstacles you're faced with, because God is there with you all the way. Thank you once again for listening to this week's story time. But this doesn't mean that we're out of Bible stories. It just means that we're out of time. So I hope to see you next week for another story time. I'm Jed, the Wonders Lab scientist. I'd like to honor my prophet, Prophet Hubert Angel. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for this opportunity. Good news to you, Professor Flop. Good news to you, Jed. Ah, what's our lesson for today? To spread the love of God. Wow, spreading love. Jesus is love, right? Yes, he is. He really is. And he commands us to love one another. Yes, amen. As he has loved us. Amen. Wow, so love is important in our lives, hey? It really is. Okay, so what's on the table today, Jed? A glass full of water and food coloring. Water and food coloring representing a person yes. who is filled with love, right? Mm-hmm. And the next one? Glass, which represents a person that doesn't have love. A person that doesn't have love, right? And what else do you have? We got tissue paper. Okay. And we have tissue paper, which represents the word. And that's how we spread love through the word and doing what the word of God says. Exactly. What does Amen. the word of God say about love? That we should spread God's love. Through, we should forgive, right? Yes. Show kindness? Yes. Yes, exactly. we must have Amen. love, and uh, which is the fruit of the Spirit, right? Yes, exactly. We follow what the Word of God tells us to do, and that's how we spread love. Exactly. So show us, Jed, what you do. Okay, Jed? That's the Word of God in the person who has love? Exactly. And you're spreading the word and the love of God, which the word of God teaches us. Yes. So as we do what the word says, we are spreading love. Mm -hmm. As we exactly. have the word of God in us and spread it, we are spreading love. Exactly. Now let me show you the finished results of it. So that water is going to travel from one glass to the next glass, right, Jed? Exactly. Through that paper which represents the word. Exactly. So if we want to spread love, we have to have more of the word of God and do what the word of God says, right, Jed? Yes, exactly. Wow. So it travels. You just give it time and the water goes into the other glass right so see how that's moving wow
it's actually traveling through that tissue paper, right? Yes, amazing. And give it time until it's fully covered and the water starts going into the other glass, right? Yes. Just like we see. Show us, Jade, the other glasses that are done. We did the experiment before. Show us, Jade. That's how it's going to be. It's going to travel. Wow. Exactly. So that's spreading the word of God right there. Wow. That's amazing and that's how we spread love through God's word, through doing what God's word says. Wow, well, that's it for today, right Jed? That's it for today. Children, try this experiment at home and give it time until you see the water traveling like that. Yes. Well, until next time, we say bye. bye. the Baroness Bordoza, the Vice President of the Good News World. Let's just let our amazing panel introduce themselves. Good news to you, my name is Tanya. Good news to you, my name is Andre. Good news to you, my name is Alvin. Good news to you, my name is Alicia. Good news to you, my name is Kanya. So what we're going to be talking about in today's program is what the Man of God was teaching during the New Year's Eve service. So Alicia, what was your biggest takeaway? On that night, our Man of God gave us a series 
of prophetic declarations mm. to take into the new year. That's right. But he didn't just give us those declarations for that night. He gave us so that we can use them for the rest of our lives. Mm. Yeah. The prophet also teaches us about meditating on the word. To meditate is to hagar. So we need a hagar on the prophetic declarations that the prophet has given us. Amen. That is a very true thing. For some of you who may not know what Hagar is, to Hagar is to mutter under your breath, to plot on a perfect word that you have been given. So, let's pass it on to Tanya. What was your biggest takeaway from the night? My biggest takeaway from the night was one of the prophetic declarations our man of God gave, which was poverty and drought is a thing of the past. Mm -hmm. So for a long time, our man of God has been talking about the money is coming. So that was a confirmation that the money is coming and the money is here. Amen. Not only that, but this year is not only called the year of heaven on earth, it is also the year of money. Yes. So that, what she's saying is very, very true. The money is coming. So Alvin, can you please tell us what the man of God is saying concerning prophecy? If we have a prophetic word, we stick to that word. If someone tells us to use a word where it's not prophetic, we ignore that. We stick with the prophetic word that we've been given. That's the life of heaven and earth. And then stick to the perfect declaration that you've been given. So, Andre, tell us what you have to say. Thinking about what Alvin and Tanya have said, as Prophetess Beverly Angel said recently in a service, we should prophesy that the money is coming and that the money is here. She also tells us that we should prophesy over our family life and our school life. Mm -hmm. However, Prophetess also informs us that faith without action is dead. So if you want those A stars in your school life, you need to take action and work hard. Amen. You heard him, faith without works is dead. So just in closing, we're gonna have our sister Tana, Tanya tell us about a, a testimony. So um, I remember Prophet, I had a growth on my finger and it was very painful and I went to the doctors and they couldn't do anything about it. And we were watching a service and Prophet Eva Angel was giving out prophetic declarations about healing and I meditated on it and kept on repeating it. And the next day it was completely gone. Amen. <laughs> what an amazing testimony. And as you can see, today we have talked about what the man of God taught us during the New Year's service. So make sure to mutter <clears throat> onto your breath for at least 24 hours that to declare what the man of God has said and stick to that. We are not out of good news, we are just simply out of time. This is Generational Grace Collectors. Sorry. Sorry.